iOS 26 is packed with new features, and there's a lot to know about this update. There are tons of new features that will make your life easier and are so useful that you need to know and use on your iOS 26 device. Now, in today's video, I will show you guys 10 incredible new features that you must know and use on your iOS 26 device. But before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps a lot. And we're starting things off with Safari. Now, this is super cool. If you're on Safari, you will now have a mute button for your tabs. Now, this is not a mute button that will mute Safari. It will mute individual tabs. So you will get that new button right there at the top at the address bar. And it's there whether you're using the top bar or the bottom bar is basically the same. So you tap right there at the top and it will show you this menu right here. From here, you can mute or unmute your tab. It's as easy as that. So you can see the indicator right there, you tap there to mute and unmute tabs. It's super useful if you have a Mac. You know this is a feature that has been a long time ago on the Safari on Mac and now it's on iOS as well. Now here's another very useful feature that will work on quite a few of apps on iOS 26. One example will be the Maps app. So you can see I'm on Maps right here and it has of course the map but we also have some UI elements right here showing on the map. But if I want to take a screenshot you can see what happens here. I take a screenshot when I go to the screenshot I can now move to full page and you can see what it does. It basically gives me a screenshot of the map and it will remove everything else. All the UI elements will be removed from here. That's pretty cool. Now the same thing will happen if you try to take a screenshot on your notes app. You can see I take a screenshot right here. When I go to the screenshot, I can just move to full page. And as you can see right here, it will only show me the text of that note. And I will even have here the button to actually go ahead and crop this if I want to. And now you will have only the text from the note without the other UI elements. Moving back to the Maps app, and we have a super useful feature right here. As you probably know, on iOS, you can download maps to view them offline. So this is very useful, but it's not new. It has been here before. But what's new with offline maps on iOS 26, you can now actually search offline maps. Just like you would search when you go to your maps on a normal way on the online mode, you can now also search and find places within your downloaded maps. Moving under the settings app and we have right here the seller data usage. So you go to settings under seller, you will find their seller data usage and you will find all the apps here that have used your seller data. And you will see right here, we now have a search bar. The search bar will allow you to find apps within this list. So if I just want to find an app, I can go ahead and search it right there. Of course, most of the apps will use your cellular data. So you will have a long list there. You don't need to scroll. You just go ahead and search and then you will have it right here. You can go ahead, enable it or disable it from here. And now we're moving to the lock screen. We also have a pretty useful feature right here. So go to edit your lock screen, tap on customize. And then right here, you will have the toggles that you can use from your lock screen. As you know, we have two of them and go ahead and remove one of them and just tap here and search for reminder. And once you have found reminders, just tap right here, new reminder. And this will actually allow you to go ahead and just create reminders directly from your lock screen. You tap and hold right there. And now you can create your reminders from here. Anytime you need to quickly add a reminder, just tap and hold that button. And right here, you will have also your list of different reminders that you have. Of course, you can add any detail you want, the date here, the location, add different flags, basically the full features that you get on the app. You will also get them right here on your lock screen. Now, if you have multiple phone numbers on your device, then when you want to call a number from a website or something like that, you will be able to choose which number you want to use. So right here, I'm on the Apple's website. If I tap the number right there to call it, it will show me this pop up right here. I can chat in messages or I can choose to use any of my lines right here to make that phone call. Now, here's another very useful feature of screenshots on iOS 26. So when you take a screenshot, you will get a new feature 
right here at the bottom. So if we tap on the screenshot right there, you can see we can summarize it even though it's not currently working. It works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. And then right here, you will have this feature called the read aloud. And it will basically read everything to which you take a screenshot of. It will show you the player right here. We can move forwards and backwards, play and pause, change the volume. Of course, it will basically just read everything out loud, everything where you take a screenshot. The Files app also has gotten some pretty cool new features with iOS 26, and here's one of them. You head onto a folder on your Files app and tap the three dots right there. What you will be able to do is switch to a list view, and this will switch not only just to a list view, but it will add the drop down feature for your folders. So you can see I have files here, but when I go to a folder, I can tap right there on that arrow and it will show me the file so that that folder contains right here underneath it. It is actually super useful. You can see how good that is. Pretty easy to actually browse much easier than just having icons on your home screen. If you have everything organized within folders, then it will be the way to go for you on your new files app. We're moving back to the settings app and let's go to sounds and haptics right here. We have a new toggle here to reduce loud sounds. It is actually super useful and it shows right here what it does. So it reduces the audio volume range and it basically just will soften loud sounds and it will increase really low sounds so that it creates like a balanced sound for your device. So that way, of course, you don't get annoyed by very loud sounds or not be able to hear really low sounds. So a must must have feature, a feature that you must enable on your iPhone, reduce loud sounds right here under sounds and haptics. And last but not least, we're moving to the general settings. Go ahead and go right here to AirPlay and Continuity, and you will find a new feature called Keep Audio with Headphones. So basically, while using like AirPods or other wireless headphones, you keep the audio within the headphones if your device connects to another Bluetooth device. Like maybe your car, it will still stay on the headphones. It won't move the audio directly to your car, which is actually very, very useful. So a must have feature if you use wireless headphones a lot, go ahead and enable it right here under AirPlay and Continuity. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 10 incredible new features that you will be able to find on your device running the new iOS 26, which I believe are very, very useful. And of course, you must know about and make sure that you will be able to use any of them anytime you need them. Again, iOS 26 is actually packed with new features and we're finding a lot of stuff every day. So if you want to be updated with the latest new features and changes on iOS 26, make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys on the next video